in your audience, in your customers, in your prospects. You work with them and over a period of weeks or months or longer, if you are a straight shooter, what evolves is a perception of you as a credible source of information. That information about the expertise of the staff was there all along, but it was below the surface. What the detective of influence has to do is find those things that move people positively in our direction and bring them to the surface so they are conscious to the people who we want to respond to them. The first rule of sales is to come to like your customer. And in that place, now, you have two people who like one another interacting. Two people who feel rapport for one another. If you want to be influential in a particular situation, the first question you should ask yourself is not, who can help me here? No. The first question you should ask yourself is, whom can I help here? Whose circumstances can I elevate here? Whose business outcomes can I improve here? Because if you do, by the rule that everyone has been trained in since childhood, those people will want to elevate your circumstances, will want to improve your business outcomes. In the context of scarcity, people want what they can't have. What's the implication for you? I think there are two implications here. The first is one that you've probably heard before. It is the importance of differentiating your products from what the others are offering. How many times have you had people who have been happy, satisfied, overjoyed with the experience that they've had. This information, the voice of others, similar to the person you want to persuade, can be more persuasive than anything you say. The science tells us what we can do, how we can infuse our messages with the power of these six principles of influence. If you will align yourself with the power of those principles, I'm convinced you'll become significantly more successful in your sales endeavors.